ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ 99 ከመቶ በደም ተሰርቷል መንገድ ድሮ 2 ቀን 3 ቀን የሚፈጀው መንገድ በአንድ ቀን አሁን ድራይቭ እናረጋው እና መንገዱ በጣም አመቺ ነው መኪናንም አትጎዳም ብዙ ጊዜ በፊት በነበረው ጊዜ ድሮ ድራይቭ በመናረግ ጊዜ ጎማ ሁሉ የተኛ 24 ጊዜ ጎማ የተኛብኝ ጊዜ አለ ባለ ሄጄ ማለት ነው አንን ጎማ ለማሰራት 5 ኪሎ ሜትር በአያ ምናምን አስኝ በብስክሌት በሚሰራበት በፓምፕ ምናምን አርገው ንፋስ የሞሉልኝ ገጠር ውስጥ ማለት ነው ሪሞት ኤሪያ አሁን ግን በየመንገዱ አስፋልቱ ከተሰራ በኋላ ጎም ስታት አገኛለ ጎማም በጣም የተኛ በጣም ሬር ነው አይተኛም ጎማ ራሱ እና በጣም ምቹ ነው መንገዱ Over the past decade, Ethiopia's investment in poor poor sectors have resulted in impressive economic growth and poverty reduction. In order to meet its development objectives, the government has identified key sectors and refocused public spending from recurrent including payments on goods and services to capital. According to the recently published public expenditure review, roads now account for the largest share of the budget at 4.2% of GDP followed by education at 4%, agriculture and rural development at 2.1% and health at 1.2% of GDP. These investments have helped to increase the size of the road network, boost school enrollment and health and water coverage. Increased investments in social protection have also enabled Ethiopia to build one of the largest social safety net programs in Africa, benefiting over 8 million people. Over uh, the last decade, uh, as a result of uh, massive uh, expenditure on these infrastructures and social development and growth, various growth areas, uh, impressive growth has been registered. And as a result of that, there has been significant expansion on service delivery, on infrastructure provision, as well as in job creation. Uh, absolute poverty level has significantly declined from around 45% around to now 26-25%. And this is a very significant uh, decline in terms of absolute poverty. In terms of social indicators, there has been also massive uh, outcome in health coverage, in education coverage, as well as in road coverage, and in other infrastructure coverage as well. However, according to the 2015 Public Expenditure Review, over the next decade, in order to sustain this growth and ensure shared prosperity, Ethiopia needs to address several challenges. In general, we have many good findings, um, and we've, we've been pleased to see the uh, improvements in the allocations across the uh, across the budget. The levels of investment have increased so much they're slightly misaligned now with the level of recurrent costs. Uh, and what this means is that over time you might lose the value of the assets that you've invested in. So you can you can build roads, but if you don't maintain them over time these assets will lose value. A second area of challenge revolves around the need to mobilize more domestic revenues. Um, much of the budget is financed by uh, development assistance or, or by borrowing. Um, increasingly the government should seek to uh, take over the financing from, from their own domestic revenues. A third area probably refers to the need to look at the equity of public expenditures. Um, and increasing the focus on, on poorer groups. We do this kind of analysis called uh, benefit incidence analysis where you take household survey data and put it alongside the expenditure data and it allows you to make an analysis of how far the public expenditures are going towards the poorer groups in, in society. Then a fourth area that we would suggest that the government considers is with respect to efficiency. Um, and by efficiency, I refer to both allocative efficiency and technical efficiency. So, for example, in the education sector, you might look at whether the balance between financing uh, primary education versus secondary education versus tertiary education is correct. So having a, a look again at the um, allocative efficiency, we would suggest is an important priority for the government. As you do that, um, you, you channel resources to people who are most in need, but you're also freeing up for yourself fiscal space for investments in other pro-poor um, activities which can help you reduce poverty in the future. The key message of public expenditure review is that uh, the major expenditure of the government is pro-poor, pro-developmental, and the key priority sectors are roads, agriculture, health and education. We do believe that uh, the mix of capital expenditure versus recurrent expenditure is balanced 
but through time as we move more into a lot of infrastructure development it is maintenance uh, service delivery uh, running running cost provisions are going to be also very important and we need to continue to look at that balancing and uh, address uh, any challenge related to recurrent expenditure in order to maximize the returns of public expenditure the report proposes that Ethiopia should further review and realign public spending while Ethiopia's capital spending increased service coverage, service delivery lagged behind due to insufficient budgetary provision for operations and maintenance. According to the Public Expenditure Review, one way for the government to raise additional revenues for operations and maintenance will be through advancing tax reforms and enhancing tax administration. I think domestic resource mobilization in general and also tax mobilization in particular is also a key message from the recurrent expenditure, which we have been acting upon. And definitely we need to do more uh, tax collection capacity reform uh, and uh, improving the capacity of uh, compliance of taxpayers, educating taxpayers in terms of mobilizing more tax is going to be very important. Definitely that is a, a message that we have been already doing and we take it that very seriously.